welcome to Happy Diabetic TV. I am your host, Chef Robert Lewis, the Happy Diabetic, and this is the internet's most delicious cooking program. And hey, it's summertime. I'm in Iowa. Let's grill corn and some really great vegetables. I'm going to show you how to do it down and dirty, simple and easy, amazing, ordinary ingredients, turning them into something extraordinary on your grill. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start with our fresh corn on the cob on the grill. So here's my corn. I've simply shucked it and washed it. No soaking, no putting it in a bowl of water for 45 minutes to five hours. I've just shucked it and there might be some little hairs on it, those little silks. Don't worry about it, they're gonna burn right off. So I'm gonna take it on a little plate like this and I've got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just I'm gonna give it a light little drizzle, drizzle like this and some fresh cracked pepper. and some sea salt, just like that. And I'm just gonna give it kind of a little rubby rub like that. That's it, simple and easy, that's ready for the grill. All right, our next really awesome vegetables is gonna be this nice little mixture of fresh Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and these little cool sweet bell peppers. So all I've done is I've taken the Brussels sprouts, cut them in half with my French knife. I'm gonna add them to my bowl along with my peppers, I'm gonna leave them whole. And my mushrooms, gonna leave them whole, just like this. Again, a little fresh cracked pepper. A little sea salt. A little extra virgin olive oil. All right, so now we're gonna mix them up a little bit. Olive oil, cracked pepper, salt, a little bit of garlic, just like that. So now I've got my amazing vegetables and my amazing corn, and now it's time to head to the grill. Okay, so now we're outside by the grill. I've got the grill at about 500 degrees. I mean, it is cranking now. And I've got a couple ways I like to do vegetables. Because I have grates, and sometimes the vegetables will kind of fall through the grate, I'll cover it with aluminum foil, maybe a little specialized grill pan with aluminum foil underneath it. I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit, probably 375, almost 400. I got my corn. Just like that. Can you hear that sizzle? That is the sound of love. Okay, so now I've got my Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and peppers. That's going right on one of these disposable little metal grills. These things work really great. They're just going in just like this. Spread them out a little bit. You can see our corn is gonna start to get nice and caramel. That's it. See you in about 10 minutes. All right, so now we're in about eight minutes. Oh yeah, we're getting that nice caramely on the corn happening. And our veggies, let's check those out. Yeah, these are looking really great. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna take these veggies and I'm gonna turn the grill off on this side. So we're just gonna have a little indirect cooking Nice and charred, those are just really great. Yum, yum, yum. Right on top of there. And our corn, see you in a few minutes. Okay, we're now at about 10 minutes. So let's just take a look at our corn. We'll give it a little flippy flip and see how it's looking. 
Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely feeling it. Check it out. Nice and caramely, kind of dark little bits, glazed with that olive oil. And our vegetables, I put them back over the heat because we're almost ready here and I just want to finish them off. We're looking really, really great. All right, let's check it out. Our corn is done. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. Oh yeah, I like it just like that. Perfect. Nice. All right, so here it is. My grilled corn on the cob and my grilled Brussels sprouts, peppers, and mushrooms. Now for the finishing touch, I like to take a little bit of fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna give it a little squeezy squeeze right on top. That is amazing. There it is. Simple and easy. Remember, it's all about taking ordinary ingredients and turning them into something extraordinary. That's the Happy Diabetic Chef way. So, this is your personal diabetic chef, Robert Lewis, the Happy Diabetic. Over and out, have a great day. Subscribe to my YouTube page and my Facebook page. You will find this video there because I like you. So, enjoy your evening. This is Chef Robert Lewis, the Happy Diabetic. Have a great evening.